Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 28 of Tropical Rouge. Pretty curious, it's gotten to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Well, it would make sense to get a cute mirror dresser or something. You need a really good vanity. Are you sure?
Ura noodles. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Makes me hungry for some crepes because I've never really had one. I mean, hold up, that was a little shade, though. Oh, and I wonder if they still keep Miriam's name in there. Well, I mean, she's just curious, and that's okay. She was just getting some, you know, influence from it again. I mean, I don't think there's a problem with her being in multiple clubs. See, I feel like her and Komachi would be really good friends and especially like a older sister type for um Mirain, especially with the factors, you know, both are novelists and both like to read a lot and so Komachi could help her, especially if she has like a point where she is having like writer's block in it.
you sure? Did you come back later? Oh, really? Of course he would use the squid. What else would you use?
Is she getting up? Oh. Well, it stopped. Oh, no. I get that. Makes you wonder what he means with that, right? We might not find out until next week, though, because what? Next week, it's either episode 29 or 30 is when we're getting officially the final power-up, I'm guessing. Excuse me. Go on. She didn't like it. Oh, baby. You could see all your flies. Mm -hmm.
stop. God, that was so cute. I mean, honestly, she's really involved, like evolved ever since her first freaking episode. And that's so cute, precious baby. Oh, oh my God! But yeah, her interview, the bee's knees, like yes, yeah, amazing. She did such a good job. I was nervous, like, oh God, because mm. <laughs> you never know what the heck you're gonna say in front of a camera. You're like. <laughs> for her and that we finally got the answer of why she quit the literary club and such because that was something that we really needed to know ever since Munodine first appeared in the series and such. Now it's about really still the situation of Asuka Senpai and the um the honor student. Um so hopefully we get something on that soon. Mm, I mean, Sango for right now, I don't think Sango really had like any big, big type of mission. Her, her thing was still all in makeup and still trying to be the best makeup artist and such like her mom, which was really good. I liked seeing that in today's episode as well, but this was primarily a Midorin episode and it was good and I enjoyed it. I like how I even liked the fact that became a worker for the day and making squid. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, we're doing the final power up. Oh, that's pretty! <laughs> and I'm good, because I'm guessing... What it has to be, of course, it's going to be a little dresser slash vanity of what we saw today. It would make the most sense because funny thing is when you go um, on the Amazon Japan page and look at the pretty hair stuff, you're literally seeing like all the stuff that's also in the episode, correct? So typically they do this for every freaking pretty hair series. But I remember like a while ago when I was looking just because way before Laura came in as the mayor and shit. Um, I saw the lip glosses, the, um, the little bracelet thing that has another lip gloss and I think like eyeshadow as well. And I was like, you know, it would be really interesting if they make a little tiny vanity for this show. And it seems like that is it, especially with the fact is that they made a vanity in today's episode. So of course this would be the final power up thing for them and whatever it's going to be. Of course we're going to find out next week. But if it is vanity, I ain't surprised because it's cute and it's gorgeous. And I mean, it's fairly obvious with what the heck happened today, continuing into next week. But I mean, yeah, for, for Mirani specifically, this was a good episode. For Laura, really for everybody, it was a good episode, even though Mirani is the main entire focus. Learning a little bit more about Mirani and her past and why she quit and everything. I mean, as someone who did write and I remember one time I had like this huge like inspiration to just write and I wrote like two fanfics and I I completed one like I think a month and then put it out and then I did the next one and I only did I think about the first like four chapters because I, I kind of lost inspiration to it and sometimes that happens to all of us especially when you are someone who writes like fan fiction for something and the next thing you know someone's like when are you gonna update and then you just want to look and you'd be like never because I have no inspiration for it anymore or any good ideas for where it should go but when it's an original story and someone you know critiques it and says oh it's plain and such and then when you go back and you look at your own work yourself then yeah she you see the flaws just as much as she did and so that's why I was like yeah I was like yeah her and Komachi would have been really good friends and had a really good older sister younger sister buddy buddy relationship um 
due to this because she could go to Komachi for anything. Like if she needed inspiration, hell, she could talk to nuts as well. Um, and such. And this is why I still wish we had all star freaking movies and not like as much as I love seeing older pretty cures now coming into newer pretty cure movies i still kind of wish we had all stars because all stars just only takes the most recent series and stuff and they've been doing that since like what kitty kitty pretty girl mode um and it, it sucks because the fact is okay you want to see everybody again like one last time until the following season but no big old no so i know like and, and it hurts because ever since i've been reacting starting with like uh kitty kitty out of the mode all the way up to now like every single time when we get into a new series and whoever is the last most recent ser uh couple or group you know that they're not going to come back because they're instantly going to go into the vault and we're never going to see them again and it, and it sucks so much so like especially when kitty kitty officially left during um after Star Twinkle, when that was their final official movie and stuff, I was like, damn, we're never going to see these girls again. But then, you know, you have these movies that feature an old series. So, But I'm kind of expecting Kitty Kitty Pretty Hero Alamo not to really make their third or fourth or fifth debut with a new Pretty Hero until like years later and such because they're still relatively new. Um, so they're going to start with big iconic ones like, okay, of course, Yes, Pretty Cure 5, um, Heart, Catch, something tells me that, like, after this next season, whoever is after Tropical Rouge, something tells me Smile is coming next for the next following Pretty Cure group, because it would make the most sense, because at, at first I was thinking, like, okay, comparing it, they're kind of going with the most biggest groups as of right now, and then they're, like, possibly going to go with the smaller ones, but then it's also, then you're kind of thinking about it, they're possibly going with the most popular group and such but then it made me stop and think especially when I looked at yes I was like comparing yes to smile who is the most popular and like obviously it seems like it is more smile um than yes because at that time I think what in 2012 when smile was coming out because uh, I think yeah I had to use it because uh, that was when I graduated um I remember seeing on Twitter every single time, like, <laughs> even though I was like, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks <laughs> for a smile <laughs> every single week because I hate sometimes watching it every single week, um, having to just watch one episode. So sometimes I would wait. Hell, I did that for like, I didn't do it for Go Princess, but I did it for Maho Girls. Um, I remember seeing every single time, like, star, not star, smile pretty here always like on a trending part and i was like oh, okay okay i see but yeah i mean whatever happens really in the future for pretty here it no matter what i'm gonna be excited for it but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 28 of tropical rouge pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 29 bye guys